Hey everybody, it's Nuz here from Pandemonium Games and today I've changed up a little bit. We're going to open a box of Call of the Archons instead of the usual Worlds Collide. I thought just break it up a little bit between the sets and stuff. Sadly, I don't have any Age of Ascension that I can access at the moment. So we're going to go through this sealed box of Call of the Archons. Let's open it up quickly. So you know it's a sealed box. Turn, 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 turn. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna grab us one sexy deck. Ooh, ooh. Maybe I will get finally get a deck with uh, a time traveler in. I mean, it's one of the things I saw. Let's take the middle one. Let's put the sexy box off to the side there. I'm gonna put that there. Go, 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 go away. Ah, out of line. There we go. Cool. Let me orientate myself. That's the deck. Okay, boys and girls, let's have a look here. Oh, these are the old. Oh, jeez. I remember now. So used to looking for the tab, the plastic tab that I have to open and stuff. And let's see what we get today. Check me out. Oh, okay. You don't want to come out? Yeah, no, no, okay, I understand. It's Logos Sanctum and Dis. Oh, that's not too bad actually for the first set. Don't know why is it picking sword here for some reason. Put him as a rift pawn. <laughs> What a great name. It's a red Archon with what looks like wings. He looks like an angelic wing type person. So this is the one thing I wish they'd bring back is these pull tabs. I mean, it's really easy to open a deck like this instead of the usual cutting and slicing. But look at that. Look how easy that is. Look at that. So easy. Oh my word. Okay, cool. Let's get started, guys. Let's have a look. Where is that? Is that the card? That is the card I need. Or is this the card? Yes, this is the card. Let me make a look at her. It is this card. Cool. Let's put it over there, put him as a rift pawn. Ooh. Cool, let's get started guys, let's see what's in this exciting deck. Sergeant Sakil, play you made it in fight with a neighboring character. Not super exciting, is it? Stand Sanctum. Raiding Knight, four power creature, play capture one, okay. Commander Remyon, Reap uses serenely non-Sanctum creature, I guess that's good. Another Commander Emil. Champion Anaphil, six power one armored taunt, like this. Ah. Favorite artwork in the game so far is Bulk Walk, 4 power 2 armor. Each of his neighbors gets plus 2 armor. Another Bulk Walk, whoa. Halo Blaster, heal 3 damage from a creature. Uh, it's an artifact with an action. Another Halo Blaster, okay. Ooh, never seen this card before. Epic Quest, archive each friendly night creature in play. Omni, if you have 7 or more Sanctum cards this turn, sacrifice Epic. What? Sacrifice Epic Quest and forge a key at no cost. Holy crap! I never, I didn't even know there was a key cheat in Sanctum. So, wow, that's insane! And you have logos in here for the card play. Oh, this might be amazing. Let's put a big quest over there. Shield of Justice, probably the greatest thing you could do in Keyforge. One ammo per play for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. Another Shield of Justice. And Logos! We have a Mother opening up the fact, so you get your additional cards, so you potentially can get 7 Sanctum cards in your hand. She's a 5 power creature. Draw your, during your draw card step, refill your hand to 1 additional card. Doc Pookton, a Reap draw card, a 5 power creature. Bad Drone, 2 power creature. Skirmish, fight, steal 1. Spectral Tunnel is an artifact with an ammo pip action. Choose a creature for the remainder of the turn. That creature is considered a flank creature and gains a deep draw card. It would be really nice if we get this onto Dark Bookton over there. The Library of Babel, artifact, action, draw card. Chaos Portal, artifact, action, choose a house. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is of that house, play it. Ooh, spicy. Wild Wormo, favorite card in the game. One ammo pip. Play the top card of your deck. Sloppy lab work, one ammo of action, play, archive a card, discard a card. Face shift, oh wow, you might play one non logos card this turn. It's not too bad so far. Oh, another face shift, it's very spicy. A normal lab work gives you one ammo of play, archive a card. <gasps> oh my word, okay, cool, cool, cool. Dimension door, for the remainder of turn, any ember you would gain from reaping is stolen from your opponent instead. It's an action card, that's very good as well. And that's the end of Logos. I'm just picturing all the archive things. You could archive so many of the Sanctum cards and then just play seven cards and like literally cycle through and score your last key of Epic Quest. Flame Wreathed is an upgrade one amber perp. This card, a creature gets plus two power and gains hazardous two. Toxin, three power creature. Reap, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. 
Another Toxin. Potato. Play if your opponent has no Amber Gain 2. It's a great opening play if your first player. Put Demon action. Steal one. Power, five power creature. Another Put Demon. A Dust Imp is a two power creature. Destroyed. Gain two Amber. Sharet's a four power creature. Play. Capture three. Dominate Bobo. Action. Use a friendly creature. It's an artifact. Hand of Dust. Destroy a creature that is not on a flank. It's not too bad, I guess. Creep. Oh, here we go, boys. Creeping Oblivion. I actually was looking for a deck with this card in it for a while. Um, it's a one amber per action. I've never seen this card before as well. Play. Purge up to two cards from a discard pile. That is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And oh, a control the weak is our last card. One amber per play. Choose a house on your opponent's identity card. Your opponent must choose that house as an active house in the next turn. Oh, this is not bad at all. Holy crap. This is really interesting. Like, the control of the good. The Creeping Oblivion is a good play here. At, like, totally. Because you could archive that with all the stupid logo stuff. Um, the disc creatures are not the greatest. I mean, Toxin's decent. Two of them. Uh, not much else. Not many steal, except for, like, Dimension Doors. Anytime you reap, you steal from your opponent, which is quite good. The archiving here is really good. And playing two non logo cards. I mean, Sloppy Live Book's not too bad, I guess. Wild Wormel, okay. Chaos Portal, I've never played it really. Library Babel, Spectral Time is good. Patron, Doc Bookton. Mother is really good, you need to keep that on the board. And you've got Champion NFL for the. But the Epic Quest for the Taunt, sorry. Champion NFL is for the Taunt to keep your mother alive, possibly. Epic Quest is play archive each friendly night creature in place. How many nights do we have? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nights exactly. So. You could play this, archive everybody, and then Omni. Wow. Play seven Sanctum cards. So one, that two Shields of Justice. Two Hallowed Blasters. What? Does anyone have a playability? Well, the Raiding Knight has a playability, which is not too bad, actually. That's not too bad at all, eh? And I don't think there's anything that lets us cross houses here, no it doesn't, no, no nothing that says like make this part of every house, let me just check the clear, bad row, no, 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 I'm, I'm seeing a pattern here that this deck might actually work, it's not going to be the greatest, but it's a good trick, the whole epic quest thing, I've never seen this card before, I'm just so shocked, like, that's insane, because you could easily do that, if you have archives, which comes really easily out of logos, I mean, we've literally got two cards, that do that, and you have Mother, which allows you to draw an additional card. Oh, Mother first turn is not bad. You would go to seven cards again and be ready for your second turn as first player. Oh, that's that's quite hectic, actually. You'd obviously have to have the 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 epic quest out. It's an artifact, and it's an omni ability. You have to use the sacket in order to forge the key, which is quite good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That was Pyramus the Rift Pawn, um, Pawn P A W N. Um, I'm really excited about this deck. I might actually try this deck now. Holy crap, this is really good. I have no complaints about this deck that I've opened. I regret nothing opening this thing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. This is Niz from Pandemonium Games, and I'll see you on the next video.